Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today we are going to install ISS, International Space Station Component. Stick around and we'll start in 10 seconds. Today we are going to install ISS component or configure it. This is a very simple component and what it does, it tracks the location of the International Space Station and will change the binary sensor status from off to on when the space station should be visible above your head or in your area. It's a simple component, not that much useful if you are not into the space, but it's also nice to make some kind of automation. So we'll do both. We'll install and do a quick automation. Let's get cracking. First thing what we have to do is we have to go to Configurator. In Configurator we will go to the binary sensor, YAML file, and at the end of binary sensor file we will add new uh, integration or component, so it will be ISS. Setup is pretty simple, you just have to define platform and it will be ISS. And last thing or last part of integration is to define the visibility of the uh, International Space Station. What does this do is there are two ways on how to show ISS on the map. First thing is default one, it has status shown map false. And how does this work? It changes the standard longitude and latitude to long and lat names. So you will not see it on your uh, map component on the left side. But if you want to see where the space station is currently on the map, world map, you can define here status show on map true. We'll try both. Show on map true. So default status for this is false. Okay. And this should be pretty much it. Let's save this. Let's go to configuration. Server control. Check configuration. And let's restart our server. And our server is back online. Okay, let's go to developer tools, logs. More or less everything is okay. Okay, let's go to the map. And as you can see, now on the world map, we see where the International Space Station is. It's off, meaning that it's not visible in our area. There are six people on board and current longitude and latitude are as shown here. But of course, if you do not want to have this on your map whole time, what you can do is just go to Configurator and either remove this line or just change this to false. Let's save it. Let's go to Configuration. Server controls, check Configuration. And let's restart. And our server is back online. Okay, what we can do now is, of course, we can make some kind of automation. So first thing I want to do is let us make entity shown on the front page. This is how I usually do when I add components. So let's add here entity and let's find ISS. Save. And it's shown here as off. Okay. Let's now create automation. Configuration, automations, add new one. We will skip this and let's call it look above. ISS should be visible. What we can do here is we can find our sensor. 
let's type ISS, binary sensor. And what we want to do is we want to get notified when the condition changes to on. So this will be trigger. And for service, let's call our bot. Bearded bot, of course. And we can send ourselves a message in a telegram. So it will be message. Look above. ESS is somewhere above your head. Let's save this. Let's go back, back, server control, check configuration. It's always good to check configuration, no matter if you use automations or not. And let's reload out automations. If everything is correct in a services, in automation trigger, we will be now able to look for the look above. What we can do here is we can test it, uh, hopefully. Let's just press call service. And as you can see, when we press the call service, we receive the notification inside our telegram. So this is it. It's pretty simple component, easy to integrate and configure. It doesn't do much, but it makes you happy to get some random notifications or messages from your home assistant. If you are into that, please ignore messages above. Unfortunately, this is something I was testing and recording for the Tado part two video. And I forget to change the notifications from one minute to one plus hour. And I did receive a bunch of notifications here. Thank you once again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any kind of idea or you want something uh, recorded, please drop me a line down below in the comment section. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button. And I will be seeing you next time in Home Assistant How-To. Thank you for watching, bye bye and have fun.